All right, happy Saturday night, everybody. Row of Gilly coming at you live. We're going to get our raid swings in this week. Didn't get to do them last week, and, well, at least not live on stream, and I felt we needed to do this. We needed to talk some Lord of the Rings home on the channel, get back into it a little bit. Uh, this is where we're at so far. We Low participation. We just launched it this afternoon. People got to log in, see what's going on. Uh... But yeah, we're just uh, hanging out tonight. We're going to get some Lord of the Rings home raid swings in. Maybe talk some of these uh, recent revelations from Tana's interview with the devs. Uh, you know, we'll have some fun with it. Get in the chat. Hype it up a little bit. But I'm having a pretty chill Saturday. I hope you all are doing the same. Uh, hopefully it finds you well. I'm not used to doing Saturday night streams. Not really my thing. So, uh, you know, this will probably be one for the VODs. Yeah, we never know, but... I feel like I'm missing a raid stream in my life today. So we got to get these in because they only come around once a week, unfortunately. That said, there's supposed to be some changes coming soon. They've got two really good changes in the works. Although I feel like one of them might be a little bit overkill. Um, the bomber one is nice. If you haven't watched the ton of video, the devs talked about two possible solutions. One of which was getting rid of... Um, do to do, do the uh, bombers RNG and basically just making it five stacks and he always is guaranteed to hit his team which I think is really nice but might be a little too forgiving the other is changing the taunt from which guy is it that's the skull crusher we don't we're not talk about you Moria skull crusher uh, uh, da, 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 whatever the brute is with the shield you know you've all been annoyed by him before is it this guy that's not him so this guy, that's not him. I didn't think so. It's gotta be this dude, right? No, that's the big hammer guy. This guy? No, that's gonna be the last. <laughs> it's not Nuraz. Yeah, there's the, it's the dude with the shield. Why he's not listed on here is a bit beyond me, actually. But that they're talking about him turning his taunts into provokes, which, you know, that's fine. I, I don't have too hard of a time working around him within my difficulty spectrum. Uh, we're going to try to get, like, a new high score uh, today. So that's what we're going for. Uh, that's that. We're just going to go with Rivendell first. I don't feel like sweating that team out. <laughs> uh, we've had some significant improvements in this team since the last time we streamed it. So hopefully, uh, I really need to work on Lomian a little bit. But Arwen hurts because of the star level. The rest of her... It's actually pretty well built up. But I've had to go back. I realized when farming for Elrond for seven stars, I can't use Elrond. Uh, so I was like, shit, I need a fifth elf. Uh, so I went back and started working on Naramiri. And it hurts uh, It hurts the ability progression real bad. I was in need of level two, like the uncommon ability vials before. I don't know if I'll need those for a little bit now <laughs> by the time I'm done farming her up. Uh... I'm going to go over 500. I'm just waiting. Just waiting. All right, let's see. Uh, this... I don't feel like we need to heal yet. It's more of a emergency sitch. Does this give him two? I can never remember. We'll find out. Four. No, it only gives him one. All right. Yay, Nimble! Let's hit them all. Oh, let's hit them all again. See, like right there, if it was just five for like a guarantee, we would have just, we could have focused on other enemies. Not that I'm mad about 121,000 points in one go. And now we can just do this. Um, we want to keep you. Let's get rid of you. Ah, oh, shit. Mm, this guy. Uh, it feels like they've done some tuning in here already. Um, although I can't really attest to that. Uh, but it feels like they have. It feels like they've put in some kind of effort. I don't know. We'll find out, I guess. Uh, oh, yep, yeah, same thing. Screw it. Doesn't matter. Uh, we can throw some defense down on you. Or exposed, rather. No. Hmm. Good, there we go. Ah, damn it. That's okay. Well, you get the heal off this time. And we'll just have to hope for a little bit of love from our good old friend, RN Jesus. 
Uh, I'm thinking about doing a little audio project with uh, our friend RN Jesus. So, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see how that goes down. I have the means, I think, to make something decent. Oh, wow. We, whoo. RN Jesus is a friend of mine. RN Jesus is a friend of mine. All right. So jokes aside, this is a really good run so far. Uh, we might just be keeping this score no matter what. Okay, what do we got? We got a tanky dude yet? We still don't have a tanky dude. This is a, this is a run, friends. This is a really good run. I don't recall them talking anything recently unless I missed a blog post from like literally yesterday. Uh, okay, we got the don't rush me up. That's fine. Let's get that in there. Ah, damn it. We're starting to lose them. We're starting to lose them. Three. I don't know why I used that instead of just a basic. Come on, get back to Elrond. Ah, oh, no, he threw it at us. Oh, man. Mm, it's so tempting just to take it and go. It's a good tier worth of points. I think we can do better. I, I think we can do better. I think we might be able to get as far as 500, maybe even 600,000. I'm feeling it. And if that's the best one we get all night and I just discarded it, uh, sucks to suck, I guess. <laughs> but I think we can do better. Uh, let's hit that because we don't like him surviving. Uh, screw it. We'll just hit this. worried about that right now we'll get that back in time it's like i don't want to waste her special one because that'll cleanse the taunt um but again we're not like that's a maybe at best we can skip this first heal for sure everyone survives this first heal that's kind of what we need we need him to drop this bomb on himself and then we worry about the hps come on that's not a great start. <laughs> we're, we're not looking so hot, friends. This one's not as, as dope. This is significantly less dope. Okay, well, that's something at least. Uh, that didn't even do as much damage as the last one. Uh, let's see if we can recover it. We're in, we ain't out of the woods. We got the heal still. So we got plenty to work with. I really don't like that guy. Taunts up. Heal, res, we'll pull up her healing right away. Good, we got a bomber back. Good, 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 okay. We're, we can stand to make some big points right here. I just want this dude to call that don't rush me super fast. Uh, let's throw the de expose on you. Put up the restoration. Uh, basic. Uh, come on, dude. Call, do your thingy, buddy. Don't make me, like, attack your whole team in counters and kill them. <laughs> that's not what we're here for. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. We kind of want that drummer to survive, honestly. Uh, it's good, good to know that evade doesn't mean shit on him either. Ah, yeah, that's gonna be a wipe. That's okay. Discard and retry, baby. Coming back from an ad break, you didn't miss much. <laughs> that, that was definitely not as good as the first run. Uh, <laughs> it is what it is. We're going to get in. It'll be all right. Sorry if it looked glitchy. That was me. It wasn't you. I'm a pale as hell in this lighting. That's why I don't do night streams too often. But you get what you get. I'm not all bright-eyed and bushy-tailed either. My Bob Rossian haircut. Or lack thereof. <laughs> Alright, I guess we'll heal first with Elrond no matter what. It just feels safer. Then we'll just hope for a low bomb. Mm, hit him up. Hit him up. Wow. Well, Uh, it's just too basic. Nope. Nope, that's bad. <laughs> I 
It gave us the best one on the first one, and now we gotta RNG Jesus through it again. It's okay, I've been getting better at this. Uh, my Red Hulk Scourge runs in Marvel Strike Force can attest to it. My patience is getting stronger, although I'm really mad at that game. I might have a rant video for YouTube here soon. And it's just a... I'm mad about it and like to complain a little bit here and there. But I, uh... It's safe to say I wasn't expecting to have to build my Web Warriors for this new event, and now I do, and I'm just really mad that I have no resources with which to do it with and a very limited amount of time. Uh, we should have healed there. Well, maybe not. Maybe RNG will help us. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. that. That's very helpful. Especially since we're not going to... Man, you better bomb your own freaking team, dude. Swear to God. I didn't... No, that's not the run either. Damn, we had it on the first try. That's okay. We'll get back to it. I still think we can push higher. It just depends on, like, who nimbles and dodges when, which is kind of like my problem with the team in Marvel Strike Force, is you can't count on dodge. It's a percent chance, not a guarantee. And that's where it gets... That's where Nimble comes in, too. Like, it's a percent chance of popping it, so you're not ever guaranteed to have it. At least not at the stage of the game I'm at. Whew. Anywho. Yeah, I think we're healing this time. Yeah, see, I think I see it now that I'm doing it more recently. I see why five is uh, a good number to get to for this, at least for this difficulty. It's too easy on the lower ones, but yeah, like it would be nice to have a guarantee there. It would have been nicer to have a heal there, I think, too. But all right, there we go. That's much better. Now we get a little breathing room. We can just kind of basic and passive our way through it. We'll get our uh, we'll get our homie back here in a second. Oh yeah, this is this is feeling good. Where's our guy? Come on now. Ah, we killed too many. Yes, just poke. All right, cool. We've avoided once again a what's who's it? A tanky dude. And again, I'm kind of wondering if they haven't already kind of gone in and tweaked how uh, often they spawn. Because, I mean, I've gotten four of them at one time once. That was just bad luck, but <laughs> it's happened. I'm going to clip it. It's going to go in my uh, channel highlights at some point, my trailer, because <laughs> it's too funny. Not everyone will get it, but those who get it, chef's kiss, man. It's going to be fantastic. You're going to laugh so hard. I think that was actually from the anniversary stream, too. We're going to heal. I'm feeling it. This is, this is the run. This is the RNG. Yes. Here we go. Come on. Let me hit him again. Just one more time. An 80% chance. Yes. There we go. Two perfect ones. Okay, we got our first shieldy boy. And he's on Don't Rush Me already. Couldn't have asked for a better way to do that. Um, three. Uh, yeah, we've got like all these hits coming in before he even gets his taunt and we get to save her cleanse Hell yeah This might be that this might be the run That's okay. You can kill him. I'll bring his oh come on. That's shady. Oh, uh, we had a much better run Before Dang. I think 350 was a new high score Dang hang on now. I got to double check that's not what I wanted. I just wanted to go back to the raid home. Uh, da, 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 da. I guess my best is 300. My best submitted. That's a bummer. That's okay. We'll get it back. My buddy Chonk up here, dude. Running it. Yeah, I, we need to see more of these. <laughs> Our guild's working on it. Our guild's working on it. We're still working on organization. We're a teaching guild. We're more laid back and relaxed. Uh, 
But I would like this game to adjust the frequency in which it lets you do raids. Like, if you fail the first raid, you're not getting that many rewards to where it's worth failing it multiple times. Like, you should get, like, 1,000 to 1,500 of your keys back so you can run it, like, twice a week. Especially while there's not, a, a, admittedly, not a lot to do in this game. That's why we don't stream a lot of it live. <laughs> Unless I'm spending money on character releases, there's not a lot of content. I'm not trying to spend character release money every character. Ones I really like or I think are going to build a sweet team will look to invest in, but like I'm, I'm not doing Gondor. I'm sure they're going to be good, but I'm going to have to wail for them to be in any way viable. I mean, we're talking spending hundreds of dollars and... I just don't got that. <laughs> Not for a team that's like only raid viable and that I can't even get to that chapter in my raid. So, uh, you know, it's the journey that we're here for. <laughs> we're trying to make the best of this and uh, the, it gives me some hope with their release methods and campaign chapters and all the stuff they're talking about coming uh, eventually, which I really don't like. This game, they need some... Uh, there we go. Okay, cool. That was a good one. Um, you know, they just need some thing to give us that we can look forward to. Like, the glyph system sounds sweet, but when? I just want something. Get, like, October-ish. Fine. That's something. It's some, You know what I'm saying? It's something to look forward to, to, like, really implement my grind. They talked about doing, which I think is really exciting, like, a five-man, everyday, five-team, like, PvP almost like a cosmic crucible or a grand arena championship from star wars but every day in a minor degree and that sounds so awesome and i want it and it's i'm so happy it's going to replace arena because i think arena is just the most toxic pay to win game mode in any mo mo uh, mobile game period i'm not a fan of, uh, of those game modes here uh we're not we're not friends with that game mode on the channel you gotta try to do your best because you need your rewards but uh, it's toxic, and we all know it, and, you know, that's why you're paying to be good at it, so, you know, it's, it's nothing against the people paying to win it, if I had the money, I'd be doing it, but it's at the same time, it's just kind of like, it makes it harder for the average player to look forward to, I mean, it feels really good when you do well, Jesus Christ, what the hell happened? I mean, we're not saving that, but I just like, wow, the bad RNG right now. We had that first run too. Damn it. That's okay. You can't you can't do the first run of the video with your best team and submit it. Like that's this is what people come to see is the struggle and like trying to get that high score. Uh, again, I think we'll a good a really good run, I think we'll hit at least 400 k I'm not worried about that. But it's getting the RNG for that really good run that is the the pain. Alright, come on. That guy sucks. Mm. We're gonna wait on that one. The speed down here sucks. That's tough when that lands. I kind of think we gotta heal and just leave it to RNG Jesus. Yeah, that's not the run. <laughs> ah, it is what it is, though, friends. It is what it is. If I've got anyone out there in the moment, let me know in the chat how your Saturday night's going. I mean, it can't be too exciting you're sitting here with me doing these uh, these raid battles, but I'm happy to have you. Oh, why'd I hit that? That was stupid. Hmm. Do do do. Trying to get the RNG down pat. Definitely want to use that. And if this dude would just drop his bomb. 
I mean, I don't think this is the run, but you never know. We could recover admirably. We're going to have plenty of pickup time here. And they're still going to be all really weak. Uh, maybe this is the run we want because we get 45 off the rip, and then if we defeat a bunch and get like another 150, that could be advantageous. Uh, basic. We're going to save it for. Same thing here. Let's just use the basic. Uh, this guy over here with the basic. <laughs> Come on, buddy. Do your thing. There we go. I'll rush you if I want to, punk. All right, now we got to heal when he comes up. <laughs> We're going to have to hit that healing so hard. Uh, let's hit the AoE. Yeah, as much as I want to hit that AoE, if we have any chance of continuing, I have to heal and hope. I wish each of his multi-attack ones counted as a hit. I think that would be a nice fix to this problem, too, but that would probably hurt the rest of their game. Ah, there it is. That's what we wanted. Uh, if this time we get above 350, I think I'm going to take it. Okay. No shieldy boys. It's always a good sign. Let's just hit him with this off rip, give him the speed down. Uh, that will help immensely. Uh, let's hit this guy. Let's hit this guy. All right, we got a rush me guy. I wish she, I need to level up her moves. I think that's what sets this team back. <clears throat> Is it bad that I'm thinking about taking this 322? <laughs> if anything, and I get really lucky, this guy will drop that on... Nope. <sighs> as much as I want that 350 back, we've had a rough go of it. I think I don't want to look a gift horse in the mouth. I think I'm going to take this one for now and just submit it as my best score. <laughs> and we'll try a different team. Ooh. Let's see. Yeah, we're only 7% overall completion. Uh, stoked on my personal rewards. I have to get on messaging. I think I'm just going to have to start messaging people in game. Hey, do your rate attacks. Which sucks, but it is what it is. We got a lot of noobs. Uh, this is people their first time mobile game. Uh, if you are looking to join a guild, though, we are recruiting. Uh, we're always losing to inactivity. So if you're looking for a good home, we're always trying to get better. The Gondolindrum, we're open to all. So feel free to join up. That said, let's try to get over 300,000 points with our Haradrim. Uh, they've seen a decent amount of upgrading. They're not great yet, but they're getting better. Uh, I can't wait to, to Beb and Beckloo are farmable. That'll make them a lot better. Alright, same plan. Let's get the concentration. Oh, come on now. I mean, this is difficulty three, I guess, but... Again, if I can get him over 300,000, just one time, that's worth submitting all by itself. <laughs> Straight up. And they can get there. They do have that potential. Let's cleanse. Yes, okay, sweet. All right, I'm okay with that. That doesn't make me mad at all. Yeah, there you go. No buffs for you. Ooh, no buffs for, like, most of them. That was cool. A lot of poison out there on that. If I want to kill somebody, it's going to be this guy. I don't want him healing them on me last minute. Uh, let's get Wubet's taunt. Same thing. Let's get him real low. I want him out. Oh, he evaded. Okay, we got the rush man. Well, that's his heal. 
Uh, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Get a heal off. Get a heal off. That's all I want is a heal. Oh, come on. <laughs> the good news is this team survived. I've never taken this team in on difficulty three. So, like, the fact that they're still here for this bomb. Oh my god, there it is. I, I'm definitely not re-rolling this. That's an anomaly. I've never even gotten this team to 300k. So I'm going to take this 315 and a walk. Uh, that was awesome. Haradra, man. You start leveling them up there. They get pretty. They're getting pretty good. They're getting pretty good. And now we're looking like a guild leader. I've already got in 600,000 points on our first uh, guild, re <laughs> guild reward chest. Uh, nice. We got where we're at so far. This this just is so steep, too. It's so depressing. And, like, it's not even that much better than what I'm getting here. It's literally just the five Gandalf and the ten uncommons. So, yeah, it's just... You gotta have a really, really good guild to get super deep on these. And I wanna get a really, really good guild, but I don't wanna go about it by being like a guild Nazi either. So it's gonna be a weird process trying to figure out how to make that work. I might have to start getting to that point where I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna message you. <laughs> All right, let's see. Get Ugluk. Yeah, let's do this team. Ugluk guys, where's my yeah, Dunhar, Maur, and Azak? And we are not going to take them into difficulty three. We will try to attain as close to 300,000 points as possible in difficulty two, seeing as they're a little underpowered. Um, knowing what we know now about the Haradrim, I would have focused this team more. This was my gut instinct team from the beginning, but I let myself be swayed by data mines and uh, future 4K. I mean, like, it, they could be the unlock for Witch King, the Haradrim, but we don't know. And we don't know when we're going to know. And I guess the moral of the story is uh, build the best free-to-play team you can every time. That's that's just, That should just be our goal. Right? We want to keep it as cheap and affordable as possible. Now, Elrond... Elrond's a different story. Elrond needs to be a priority. Uh, and we I wanted to be in a good place going into this uh, this game from the ground floor. So that was an investment in future gameplay. <laughs> Alright, come on. Yeah, there we go. That's off to a good start. Although we didn't get a lot of points. Oh, because he didn't kill nobody. Okay. Okay. Oh, well... I didn't mean to kill that one. I thought this guy was targeted because my circle is still on him, but <laughs> this game is not known for not being glitchy, so that's where we're at. Mm. Alright, we got another bomber. We got another drummer. Drummers are nice. I like having the drummers there. Let's get this guy nice and weak. They don't have any healers yet on this difficulty either, which is pretty neat. Uh, I would really just like for our friend to do his thing. There we go. <laughs> we need this one to be a rousing bomb yourself success. Because if he bombs us, that's a restart. Straight up. We'll lose the most of the team. And we're losing most of the team now. Alright. Um, who do we lose? Azak. Not the end of the world. Hmm. We got a taunter in the back. Let's get him out. Or at least weakened. Damn, we got the rush me's popping early, and he's popping. I don't think this is the run, friends. We're going to see, but I don't think this is the run. Unless we get in the most incredible luck, and they bomb themselves with two apiece. 
No. Can this can this guy hit it? <laughs> no. Uh, discard and retry. See, I'd love to power up this team more, but the, just the resources in this game are still so narrow. Like you can't really do more than two teams. And we gotta keep our elves and our Haradrim pushing because that's who I switched to and chose for the campaigns. So that's what we gotta stick with. Uh, the elves I don't regret. Haradrim a little bit, but they're still fun. I like using them. And hey, clearly they can score well in the raid. They have the survivability, so even if there was a lot of luck involved in that, be that as it may. Mm, we don't need to heal yet. Mm, yep. Let's get in there. Yeah, here we. I, mean, I hate that too in that back corner. Hate him. Hate him, hate him, hate him. I'll oh, heal up. Screw it. Yeah, okay. Again, not a baller start, but... Uh, as long as I don't kill everybody before he comes back, we should be in alright shape. In fact, I think we hit that guy pretty... That wasn't who I had selected. Game, what the shit? Well, that's okay, I guess. <laughs> uh, let's see. And this should bring him down. Okay, cool. Now we just focus this guy, and hopefully he drops his bomb on his team, and we get a whole butt ton of points. That shouldn't knock anybody out. Aw, damn it. That wasn't what we wanted. I didn't think they were that weak. Alright, no tanky dudes, so that's helpful. Uh, I mean... It's still gonna work. <laughs> hopefully. Hopefully RNG Jesus doesn't hate us, hate us. There we go. And now we can just go right to focusing this guy. Uh, I think if we can get above 200,000 with this team, that might just be a score we have to be happy with. They are just a little squishy. And their abilities, like if I had the healing ability one turn faster, it might be a bit of a different story. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, let's target down this dude and see if we can't get some healing going. Uh, still not a taunter. Heal up, please. Oh, that one in the back's gonna do us in. Mm. Man. Hundred and sixty seven is definitely I think that's reobtainable. I think that's reobtainable. We might even be able to push a little better. That guy's the worst. I wish I was oh, like down swinging in this just so I can screw up that guy. <laughs> Dude sucks. <laughs> All right, we got one. All right, this guy is gonna definitely hit his team. I'm feeling it. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling it. See, that's the thing too. On the higher difficulty, I feel like his bomb does more damage to the enemy team. So like, it's a like a net sim win loss. You know, let's. I don't even know if they can survive to the bomb, but let's try it for shits and giggles. Let's see if they can make it. And we'll just do everything in our disposal. Yeah, they resist. That's not a surprise. To like. <laughs> okay, hang on. He, he says, don't rush me. We already know that, like, he can do some damage. 
We just gotta survive. Because, I mean, we could hit like 150 just off this first bomb on this difficulty. And we just gotta last long enough to get it to hit. Nope, that wasn't it. I... <laughs> we're, gonna try, we're gonna try something silly. We're gonna give this one or two more attempts. And we're gonna see if we can't get, like, 160,000 or better. Just getting them to drop one bomb on themselves. Uh, can we blind this guy? Yes. That's the money. Oh, no, it's gone because this dude's a dickhole. I hate that guy. Sucks so hard. <laughs> All that big deeps AOE. No, that wasn't it either. Uh, we're. I, I just have a feeling. I feel like we can get it. I feel like we can last it. Maybe we'll just get lucky and heal. Oh no, he didn't even get blind that time. Screw it. What? <laughs> Can't hurt. I mean, we'd have lost a dude there either way, so. <laughs> it was just, it changed which dude died. That's all that did. Oh, that's how I lost two. Oh, no. Okay, we don't heal first ever. Heard. Just hit yourselves. Just hit yourselves. Damn it. Uh, it's a pipe dream, but I want it to happen. I want to get it just once. The RNG be clapping today. Uh, da -da -da -da. Hey, holy wolf, you've made it. Welcome, welcome. So far, you've missed. Uh, we threw away 30,000 points on the Rivendell team. Uh, I hit my first best high score on the first run, and I was like, we can't just do one run. That doesn't seem right. Uh, so we reset it, and we weren't able to quite get back to it. I didn't want to spend a whole hour on that team. The RNG was like, ah, this is as good as you're going to get. All right. And I'm trying to, right now we're trying to take this 14,200 14, point Isengard team and make them get us 160 plus thousand points by dropping the bomb on themselves. This is also not the run. <laughs> I was so close. I had it up to a six the one time and it dropped it on me. Uh, and I think that if I hit this, uh, I mean, this is the team. I mean, they're baby team, very baby team. Uh... But if I can get them to, like, 160,000 points in one rotation, that's actually more points than I can score in two to three rotations on difficulty two. So, like, this actually might be worth the perfect RNG so that we can not have to do stage two so much. <laughs> uh, see that? But if we can't get it to happen in the next try or two, we'll obviously go back and just attempt to get it done on difficulty two. All right, don't rush me. Heal up. That didn't matter. Should have just swung. I feel like with just a couple gear, like one more gear tier and one more star tier for each of my Isengards, they would just clear this so fast. But if I change my farm path right now, I'm screwed. Uh, no, okay. Definitely going to score more points on difficulty two. That's okay. I mean, we're, there was a big swing up. That was a big swing up. So who am I farming right now? Um, I'm far, I'm trying to finish up, uh, Liliel. Or, no, sorry, not Liliel. Nerdamiri. Uh, I'm farming the elves real hard to try to get 
Elrond to at least six, hopefully seven, by the next time he comes around. Which I'm looking at, like, if you've been looking at what's going on and, like, if you followed the uh, Tauna Q&A, it's going to happen soon. Uh, sooner rather than later is what they keep saying. And if it's anything like Star Wars, their other game, which everything so far in their pacing in this game has been almost day for day the same as Galaxy of Heroes... Uh, mid to end of October is my personal guess on when we see Elrond coming back. And uh, so I'm farming Lomian and Eladan. And I already have Elra here done. And I'm like maybe a day or two away from getting Naramiri to seven stars. So I've got... What? I'm Eladan's like halfway to six... Uh, it's Eladan and Arwen are going to be the ones that hold me back. Elra here is done. Naramiri is basically done. And, um... Ah, you got me second guessing it. <laughs> here, here's what we got. Uh, Elra here is done. Eladan's about halfway to six stars. Lomian is on his way to seven stars. That's what I keep forgetting. Uh, so, like... The very worst case scenario in my mind is I haven't been able to get to the Arwen node, and I'm actually thinking about throwing crystals at it uh, if she, when she, if and when she pops back in there, because uh, I have a lot of crystals. Because like I have to be really resource picky, so I'm not like upgrading a lot of teams, and because I'm farming uh, Naramiri right now, and she's all the way back here on Guild Two. Like, I'm stocking up these. I'll never need blue ones ever again. But, we're, you know, we're stocking up on these right now. And she's super close. Like, she's... Yeah, 46. That's like a day. Like, I'll probably get this done tomorrow or the day after. And then I'll have two of my Elrond unlocked team at 7 stars. And one at halfway to... Or one at 6 and one halfway to 6. Uh, Arwen's the one's gonna hold me back because I switched my shadow farm. I, I, I got greedy. I went uh, with the Haradrim when they launched, and the problem that became of that is, is their focus isn't high enough to hit their debuffs. So like, I don't get to heal and sh and stuff half the time. And like, they're really good as you get their ability levels higher. But up until very recently, I didn't have an abundance of the uncommon material, and now I don't have enough of the rare because I'm not farming at tier five anymore or guild chapter five. So it's been a journey the past couple weeks with trying to, uh, you know, get characters where I want them. But let me tell you right now, this section right here, not that, that's hard too, but hard five, dude, this is no joke. And you got to get into hard five, five, and then you got to three star it. Or I'm sorry, yeah, hard five, five, and then you got to three star it. So that's... Ooh, with this, I, I might spend to get her to six, but like, I have a ton of gems right now because since I hit max level, I'm not refreshing for anything but gear. And even then, it's kind of like on an as needed basis. Like, if I don't have the light or dark crystals, I'll maybe do a reset and farm some of those. But they started putting them in the supply store, and I've been buying them from here. <laughs> Five three on hard, so two away from Arwen. Good, holy wolf. That's good to hear. And I bet you're using that Isengard team that I should have kept farming because I could have probably had at least two of the five members of that team to seven stars, and they'd be in there clapping. But like, so I have so much gold right now. That I've just been buying these because again, I'm only working on two teams. I'm working on elves, and I'm working on Haradrim. So I go through every day, and I farm. Uh, you know, Naramiri on the guild node, and then Robal and Eladan on the shadow and the light side nodes. So, and then I go with my afternoon refresh and my uh, mission quest energy, whatever you want to call it. I go and get my um, Lomian shards and my Yeftu shards from light, hard, 1 9 and 2 9, respectively. So, I have the, like, and so, like, I'm stocking about tokens. Because, I, again, I don't have a lot of character experience to spend to get characters up. So it's been, uh, I just have, I'm just amassing this extra gold. And I'm not just throwing around really nilly, but, like, stuff I see people need. That's on my heart list or whatever. And buy it. I got the 2.4 mil to throw around. Uh, 
Yeah, Ironhide and Boobat, the, the Ironhide and Oogaloo, I was thinking about going back and farming to seven stars, but then I'm like, dude, that's going to put me back like months because then I'm only getting like a lot of tier one abilities and a little bit of tier two and then I can't upgrade my uh you know my Haradrim's abilities to make them more viable in that uh in the that chapter five hard. Nice yeah Ironhide and Oogluk at seven has gotta be strong. That seems like it'd be really strong. Morzai here is skippable. I like Azak. I haven't really used the whole team with Morza because they're just Morza and Azak are low. Uh, but man, I, that team, I should have gone with my gut and kept farming. I mean, I can kick myself. All right, but back to raid time. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, but yeah, it's good to see you, Holy Wolf. I've been missing you in the mornings. I've been, uh, it's been definitely much easier to stay consistent. Uh, but I feel like I, I'm missing a lot of my normal viewers because I had to switch times up a bit. So, but it's good to see it. We'll definitely do these like fun special streams as I have stuff to do too. Alright, let's see. Let's turn let's tune it down. We we determined that difficulty two is gonna be the way to go. Alright, come on, game. Give me a good run, RN Jesus. I need him to stay blind. No, that doesn't happen. Yeah, it hurts a lot less on this difficulty, though. I'll say that. <laughs> uh, I love this team, too, because of the, like all the two taps like that. You get the assists. Gauze comes in good with that AoE. This is a two-piece, too. Come on, throw the bomb at yourself. Um, no, let's hit him. 80% is better than 70%. There we go. Decent. Yeah, we only had 44 from the last one, so... It's because we didn't have enough damage on the other ones to get him killed. Um, Let's hold off on doing damage. The guy we don't like is gone, so that's a plus. Let's use this now. And just hope that it doesn't spawn with a tank. Good, we got two bombers. That's awesome, because I'm going to hit one. <laughs> I need one of these guys. Oh, how cool would it be if like, they went off back-to-back -back and just killed two waves worth of stuff? That'd be awesome. Let's get a few hits in on this one. There we go. Okay, cool. We had the right order, at least. Alright, let's see you... Uh, oh, I want to heal, but I want to make sure that bomb goes off. <laughs> All right. Come on, game. Seven. And at what point do I switch to this guy? Now, like, can this guy go off and hit them with two, please? Because that would be neat. No. All right. That's not the run. I feel like it's that scene, if any of you're familiar with Billy Madison, the Adam Sandler movie where he goes back to school to run his father's company or whatever, but he's got to go from like kindergarten through 12th grade. Um, he's, the, he's looking at Chris Farley, the bus driver, and Chris Farley's like, oh yeah, me and Veronica Vaughn, we got it on. And he looks like, like, no, you didn't. And he's like, no, we didn't. But you can imagine what it'd be like if we did. <laughs> I feel like that's what this is. It's like, oh no, we we almost had that. That would have been... Can you imagine how cool that would have been if we did? <laughs> I feel like that's what that last run was. It was just like, ah, it would have been really cool if it did. Uh, it's okay. I am uh, I was pulling my hair out at work yesterday. I was doing a uh, one of the special events in Marvel Strike Force, and uh, it was for this uh, Red Hulk unlock event and I was really pushing on this leaderboard and like they've run the leaderboard a few times So it was easier for me to score higher because there wasn't as many people to compete with um, But it was just one of those deals where uh, I was doing like I was flying uh, Through this last minute trying to reclaim my leaderboard spot because I got knocked down out of the reward bracket I wanted by like two places 
and, and I had like four hours left and I'm like oh my god like I'm at work I got nothing going on like I'm gonna try to get this done real quick and I was stressing my co-worker was laughing at me um it was very probably very very funny in hindsight ah oh, come on I just want you to do your thing so that I don't have to fight any of your buddies and I can just make you kill all of your friends Oh my god, if this pops off, dude, this is going to be so many points. I just need to not die. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Hit him with the two-piece. Pow, pow. Hit him with another two-piece. Pow, pow. Alright, RN Jesus. I need you. I'm, I'm out here praying. I need a hero. And its name is RN Jesus. Yes! All right, uh, 120, cool. So I think no matter what we finish with this, we're going to take it. Um, yeah, we got a shield dude too. Uh, this team is, I mean, I, if I took them any lower, they can only max out at 100. So I am A-OK -okay with them scoring over 100,000 points. It's been quite the struggle getting them this far. Uh, so I am glad that I can... <laughs> Score some good points. Who knows? Maybe we'll get lucky on this bomber, and this will for sure be the run. I would really like that to, to be the case. I don't think it's going to be, but I would really like it to be the case. 30% of the time, it works every time. Come on. Yes! 30% of the time, it works every time. Oh, yeah. This is the run. <laughs> oh, that was sweet. Oh, that was sweet. Oh, it's screwed. Heal up, Morrison. Let's get in there. Oh, don't rush him. Don't rush him. He's a very important person. You wouldn't want to rush him. If I can get one more attack off with each of these dudes for their two-piece. Oh, there's a two-piece. Oh, do it again. Come on. Just let me get there. Yes! Oh, man. This is the luckiest run. Oh, man. I, Holy Wolf, I had some runs like that earlier, too, where I would get them to 80, and they would still throw it at me. This is a run right here. Right? <laughs> I mean, yeah, we're submitting this one. I don't I don't think I could have... Look at no shield! There's no shield! Oh, man. I, I mean... Yeah, I don't think they're going to survive long enough for me to get that lucky twice. But there are two of them, so that takes away two attacks. Oh, boy. How lucky can we get? That one will... Oh, shoot. I should have swung at this one. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, that goes to show you why you need to reset multiple times. Uh Especially if it's not, like, I should not have reset my Elrond team. That was the highest points I've ever scored, and by, I had to settle for 35k less or something like that. But that's why you keep trying it. Because you can have some silly shit like that. Wow! Oh, that was cool. I'm gonna have to clip that later. <laughs> I do have some very clippable moments in this raid. You've rolled a 20 in Baldur's Gate, so it rolled over to me. Hell yeah, I'll take it. You just keep rolling nat 20s in Baldur's Gate for me. That's ex I'm, I mean, this is already going to be my highest contribution ever, so I'm super stoked. Uh, let's see. Let's go Strider. Let's do... I usually take these young boys into... Where's my last one? I leveled them up a bit. There he is. Uh, I usually take these guys into difficulty one. I haven't leveled them at all, but I'm again, I'm just kind of in this... I've been asking my guildmates to try their best to swing up, and I would be remiss to not do that on stream. So... Yeah, that was a, that was a couple Matt 20s, holy wolf. <laughs> oh, that was like three Nat 20s. And the game, the enemies all rolled nat ones. <laughs> That's exactly what that was. Uh, what's, I don't even remember what half this kit, their kits do at this point. I haven't used this team forever. But I know I hate this guy. 
with a flaming passion. Uh, we'll save the AoE. Yeah, good. Don't hit me with your AoE. Uh, that's significantly worse. <laughs> hey, remember those nat 20s we just had? Yeah, me too. I know, right? That was one of those things that would have been hard to believe if we did witness it. I don't know which would have been better, though. The one, the what we got, or the double bomb at the same time. That would have been pretty cool, too, if we somehow pulled that shit out of our hats. Um, you can bomb yourself with six. You, the game's loving me today. You can bomb yourself with... Yes, you can bomb yourself with six. Check you out. And there's nothing to stop me from swinging at this tanky boy. Mm, let's heal. Uh, let's do whatever this is. Haste? Oh, yeah, we want haste all day. I'm telling you, that like, I've always said it, and I'm glad like more of the mainstream community is starting to come around to this team. I mean, budget team? It takes you a little longer to get through the campaign, but by the time you get them up there, man, oh, man, they put in some work. Uh, and that's important. <laughs> all right, again, we're just trying. We don't have high hopes for this team. We're just trying to get it above 100K. That's literally all we want is over 100k and i will take it because i've never taken this team above 100k points so again that's you know we're shooting for new heights today all right there is the don't rush me all right let's keep swinging on him i'm sad i'm down a hobbit but i didn't really put anything into sam yet just the resources are not there right now Six. Come on. Hit the AoE. Hit yourself. Come on, dude. You're at 70%. Yes! Alright. 80. Oh, 125. Perfect. Perfect, 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 perfect. Uh, and we got this. Oh, I don't know why I attacked him on the channel like that. Oh, well. I could have attacked. Ah. Ah, well, maybe we'll get Aragorn's AoE back in time to hit one stack on each. No, we won't. We have a 1% chance. And again, we have to take this. This is the best score I've ever put up with this team. It's, it's, yeah, that's it. <laughs> hey, that's okay. 26,000 points more than I had the last time. Hey, thanks for the follow, Stace Turn. Happy to have you on the channel. All right, last raid swing. Big difference between your light side to dark side. Oh, yeah, absolutely. There's definitely... I don't know. The synergies are different. Like, I don't know what I would be doing right now if I didn't have Elrond. That's, and that's what I think is really hard... For people with Elrond to define for people without Elrond. Like, there's a lot of people making content and say, oh, go do this, go do that. But, like, I can't really honestly think of what my priorities would switch to. I mean, I would still be farming elves because you need Elrond. Like, he is the titular character right now as far as being able to, you know, put up points. And he's good in every game mode. I mean, except for obviously the shadow campaigns. But, I mean,. His team pretty much dominates everywhere right now because there's not another legendary to answer to him, and there won't be until at least December, uh, if not later. So, like, it kind of puts you in this weird spot. Like, I think I would honestly be doing Road to Rivendell, Rohan, and Isengard as my three main teams because you can farm literally all of them. Uh, at a, except for Aeldred for Rohan. But again, you can just throw in Naramiri because you're farming her for Elrond, and she's a great healer, and she doesn't have to be Rohan to heal. Um, I think that's probably I'd probably be farming right now. I'm just my Elves would be my background characters. I wouldn't really have them leveled up. And then I would have uh, probably Road to Rivendell and Isengard would be my top two. Just because like the Road to Rivendell is so versatile. And you have the Sam mode that, like, can help you get to a seven star Sam and like pre star changes that was not important but like if you can get to a seven star Sam right now like you are a god in this game if you have a seven star Sam like that thing is going to put in so much work for you 
uh, <laughs> in the grand scheme because like that's going to have such an impact on your star power and then it's going to impact like how hard you can hit in this raid and like your swing ups would be massive because he could just take those hits so like yeah I mean I think the rest of the farming would stay the same All Isengard, so it's Holy Wolves too, and they're on Dark Sides. All Isengard, Rubet, Robo, and Yef too. And I think, I think it's smart, even if you're not going to use the team right now, to let uh, to get the stars at least in the bank to get all of them to five stars. Um, I mean, yeah, we can't farm to Bev or Bekalu yet, and I have a feeling they are going to end up on lower nodes because of their lower focus, so they don't hit their abilities. Uh, as frequently and that's been their big complaint from the community is like hey you gave us this team and uh, It's a really good team, but their focus is too low So they don't get their debuffs as often as they should and that really hurts like uh, Not being able to uh, You know land your debuffs pretty much prevents that whole team from functioning as intended uh, let's see what Stacer has to say about it. That's, uh, that's where they're at. They're 30 days in, and they have Isengard, Road to Rivendell, and, uh, IH at 7 stars. Uh, working on L's to 5 star for Elrond. Yep, I don't think I will get him, but I'm trying. I only have 2 5 star L's. So, um, I don't think, it seems like you know what your farming path is. I'm gonna tell you right now, um, don't give up on it and maybe save some of your gems uh, so that you can refresh nodes a little closer to the release date. Um, you'll have Elra here, you know, you'll have Elra here in the guild nodes, and yeah, he's a little lower in there, but it makes him really easy to farm up to five stars. Uh, you can probably get Elra here from scratch to five stars if you're using all of your guild currency there and not refreshing, just using your guild energy and getting your two to three daily bonuses you can get elra here from zero to five stars in like four or five days um we do not have a release date um but so far and this is speculation so take what i'm about to tell you with a grain of salt but everything else kind of pans out if it, it seems like they're following their star wars uh galaxy of heroes um uh, pacing which is really good in my opinion for that game because it's been around for a long time it's a little tedious for this game because it is new and we are starved for content but i'm in firm belief that we're gonna see elrond back mid to end of october uh, and the reason i feel that way in star wars galaxy of heroes the precedent is the character launches and you have to wait three to four months uh, within the first year of its initial release for them to launch it again. Uh, 42, we're going to discard and retry that. Um, so if you look at the launch date, it launched at the end of June. So let's say it just launched the first day of July. So we got July, August, September, right? So end of September, beginning of October, you're hitting four months since he's been on his last pass, and that matches their pacing in Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes, and their character cadence in this game also matches their p pacing in Galaxy of Heroes. I'm hoping they bring shard packs for Eladan and Arwen too. However, Eladan is farmable on a hard. They're both farmable on hard nodes now. Arwen's is on Shadow Hard Five Five, and Eladan's is on Light Hard Five Nine. Um, and Eladans, I have El I have Elrond, so he wasn't too hard to get to for me. But if you, I have a feeling if you have a big road to Rivendell, you'll be able to push into that. And it's just, it's uh, Stace turn. It's a it's a process. The first five elves that I used, yeah, Eladan is tough. It's it's hard to get there. His note is actually easy, thankfully though. Like I found that uh, I had a harder time getting to Eladan than I did doing that well and again take what i'm saying with a grain of salt because here's the thing with road to rivendell is you have to invest in the star levels for them to be good you have to get them to at least five six stars every single one of them and they're all easily farmable early game especially mary and uh you know strider you get just every day from playing and doing all your dailies mine's almost seven stars uh because i've been playing since launch so to give you an idea and i've missed a couple days 
So to give you an idea, it takes about six, seven months, it seems, to get Aragorn, or Strider rather, to seven stars. And I've also heard reports that people are getting random shards uh, at, for their dailies, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I think if I was going full free to play, I'd really highly invest in Road to Rivendell and Isengard as like my, sh my light and my shadow teams. And then I'd build up like um, for your arena, you can throw your Aeothane, uh, our, um, Aeom Aeomer, Aeothane, and Aeowen are a good little trio. Wolfwind's deep in there, and she's not good until you get her at higher stars and gear. Uh, she hits really hard, but that's not necessarily what you want all the time. Um, but that's the other thing, too. They're going to be changing a lot of things about this game in the very near future. So it kind of makes it hard to forecast what's going to be good. But ideally, in any hero collector like this, you want to build a base of three to five teams and then go from there. So, like, my base in this game was uh, is right now it's Elves, uh, Haradrim, which was a, a farming mistake. I should have never gone for that team. Uh, <laughs> I was baited, and I, I fell for their trap. Um, but those are my two big main teams. And then I've kind of got... Uh, these guys, the her, <laughs> name sign. I've got Isengard and the Rohirrim building in the background. Um, and then my road to Rivendell, sadly, is like bottom tier. But hey, it's actually they swung better than this team tonight, so they're not as bottom tier as my Rohan, apparently. Uh, but they just they have such good synergy as a team, and if you get their star levels up there, they really are a fantastic team. It's just they take a long time to shine. It's it's they're kind of indicative of mobile gaming. Like the the more time and patience you have and uh, attention to detail, the better off you're gonna do. It's just how mobile games work. Um, but yeah, so I'm, I'm thinking Elrond probably end of October, middle to end of October. So you've got about a month, a month and a half, I think. And I th it's, it's, again, it's based on. I might not be right, but I think it's based on reasonable assumptions that there are other cadences in this game support. Like, it seems pretty clear that we can expect three months before a character ends up on a node, and that's pretty much exactly what it is in Galaxy of Heroes 2. There you go, Hobbits at 5 and Strider at 6. And it doesn't take very long, too, because they're on easier nodes, so you tend to get more shard drops for them as well. Um... So yeah, that's that's kind of what I would say you should go for. Oh, wait. Stace turn when we're in an ad break. No. Uh, I'll have to ask them if they need me to repeat any of that. That's okay. Ah, uh, come on. Just let me just let me hit one more bomb. Just get one more bomb. That's I mean, I don't need to like I'm not asking for a lot. I'm just asking for over 100k. I don't think that's asking for too much. It's that stupid AoE dude again. It's okay. You can evade all you want, buddy. Yes, there it is. All right, cool. All right. Wow, another ad break. These poor non-subs. That is, that is painful. I see. I thought about buying that pack a month ago, but then a month ago, like they were barely usable, and I'm like, man. And then they put through that uh, star thing, and I didn't. I was like, man. Yeah, I want them. I'm, that's that team is really good. I just, uh, I think the number one thing I want from this game is to be able to raid more frequently if we don't win. I don't think that that's asking. Uh, for a lot, if I'm being 100% honest. Like, I don't think of... Oh my god, he dropped it on himself. Hell yeah! Yeah, you really just can't argue with 300 shards. Doesn't matter what game you're playing, that's a good deal. That's a really good deal. So... Alright, cool. We got that's, that's the highest I've ever done with every single one of my teams tonight. We're hitting personal bests. We hit all five. All five attacks are personal best. I can't can't ask for anything more from my teams. So, but yeah, now we can kind of. It's nine o'clock, so we'll grab my energy and just kind of chill out for a little bit. 
Let's see if we had any other progress going on. I'm gonna have to message. All right, Chunk. See, he would have beat me by like 7k anyway. Chunk got one in. Very, very cool. Ooh. You guys got you got some work to do up here. I'm two, three, five, six, and seven. <laughs> uh, I haven't spent on this game in a long time either. I haven't really spent since buying the Haradrim. And I didn't buy him up to seven either. There's just a five. Um, that's okay, Holy Wolf. You've got a significant amount of time, honestly. Uh, he has 16 hours, my friend. So, don't, uh, you know, don't feel like you're rushed. Just try, just please, for, for me, for, for, not even for me, for all of us in the guild, uh, just try to get all five in, put up some points. Again, challenge yourself, dude. If you got, you know, you should hopefully you have two or three teams hitting that 100,000 mark. Give them that push, man. Because, again, you're, you see it today. If you're not trying, you're not getting there. So that stage turn, that's actually a really good question. And I, tr I did my best to answer your question before, and I didn't realize there was a bunch of ad breaks. Otherwise, I would have either postponed them or waited. So I'm very sorry. But if you go back to this point in the uh, VOD, I, I was answering all your team questions. And I didn't realize there was an ad break. Um, but when it comes to marquees to buy, the way I look at it uh, from all the different mobile games I play, first of all, I don't usually buy characters. Um the first two characters I bought in this game were Eladan and Arwen because in uh, the infancy of a game, when a game first launches, that first legendary character usually sets the standard for that first whole year. Uh, and I knew that if I wanted to be competitive, that I, that's what I wanted to invest uh, my money into. Uh, and I didn't invest to get him to like seven stars because I'm a regular human being on a budget. <laughs> so... Uh, I put in like about a hundred bucks, but I got them, uh, both Eladan and Arwen at five stars. I grinded like hell every day. I re I had to reset Lomian's node like three times the day that Elrond launched, uh, just to be able to get him to five stars. So like, there's, there's definitely like, I was uh, skinning my teeth in it a little bit. Um, and then they ended up putting Elra here on a guild node, which made things a lot better. Uh, so... Uh, but basically if I was going to buy a marquee, it's got to be one of two things. It's either got to, I know it, it pertains to an upcoming legendary character and I want that legendary character because it's going to make a huge impact in my roster or because it's a personal favorite of mine and it has good synergies with what I'm playing with. So like a good example, uh, I bought a little bit into Legolas because he's one of my favorite characters. I didn't buy into Gimli because I didn't need Gimli to be really good for Legolas to work, right? Like, I just need levels and gear on Gimli so he's a tank. He's meant to take hits. Also, uh, much to my dismay, uh, they have the whole, pretty much the whole fellowship in the game, but only three of them have the fellowship tag. Uh, one of them is impossible to get. So, yeah, it's one of those deals where... Uh, it was I invested into Legolas because I like him, and then I I kind of regret even doing that because I'm not using him because I the resources in this game are so narrow right now that if you're not like laser focused on the two or three teams you are you know really passionate about or that are really going to push you farther, uh, it's very easy to lose and not pace like you're not falling behind, but. Um, it's just going to be harder for you to advance if you're not just focusing on a select number of teams. And I'm going to be honest, I hate the arena. Like, you need those gems to the best of your ability, but I would pick a team that pushes me through my campaigns faster. My elf team in raids right now, uh, I use Elrond. I use the whole ro the Rivendell team. It's Elrond, Elrahir, Arwen, El uh, Eladan, and Lomia. Uh, are the five that I use. But to unlock Elrond, you need elves at seven stars. And since I can't get Elrond to seven stars, I need to have someone to sub out for Elrond, and that's going to end up being Neramiri, who is a great farm because she's an awesome healer. She can kind of plug and play on any team, and she has buff or bane cleanses and uh, uh, healing. 
and she's an elf that you can get to seven stars really easily on the guild campaign uh which again any character you can get to seven stars early is going to be way better who is the best character uh tom howell do you want me to answer that with the what i think the best character in lord of the rings here is of middle earth is, or do you want me to answer with my like who i think the best lord of the rings character is period because in Heroes of Middle-Earth, it has to be Elrond. There's no... It sucks, but there's not really an argument to it. He's the best synergized OP character in the game. Uh, he won't be that way forever. Free-to-play-wise, uh, Holy Wolf has it right on the nose. It's Gaz Ironhide as the most valuable MVP for free-to-play. Um, and then I think the best character in Lord of the Rings is Sam Gamgee. Period. I love Sam. I just, I just, I love Strider too, especially like his whole, uh, you know, ranger to king and accepting his destiny and all the uh, Numenor stuff that goes with it. Like, I really, really, really love Aragorn slash Strider slash, uh, uh, what was his name? Talkantir? Nah, damn it. I don't know. I used to know all of his titles off the top of my head. When am I getting Sam to seven stars? When I can reliably get light crystals. That's, that's when I'm getting Sam to seven stars. But yeah, Tom, thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, again, I would say in order, like, overall, it's got to be Elrond, free-to-play, especially early game. It's God's Ironhide. My overall Lord of the Rings opinion, Sam Gamgee. Uh, again, you guys, if you were watching during the raid portion, you saw my Sam get in there and put in some work. Oh, and by the way, if you can farm this and get 10 shards, which is about average, 8 to 10 shards, 3 to 4 times a day, you're getting 20, 30, 28 to 30 minimum a day, uh, and you only need to get her to 5 stars to get all runs, so it's not going to take you very long. It's going to take you a couple days. Same thing with Elra here. He is on, what, 3-1, I think? Elra here on 3-1? Yeah, same with Elra here on 3-1, so like if you're hunting Elrond... Uh, Elry here on 3-1, it's the same thing. It's a guild grind. They go really fast. So, like, you have two of your five elves for Elrond on the guild nodes, and they're really easy to farm. You have Lomian and Muriel on the light and shadow nodes, and Muriel's a little harder to get to, but they're both pretty easy to farm. The hard part is getting to either Aladan or Arwen to farm them to five stars. Yeah, you just used to you get that. Uh... Well, so Holy Wolf, I find that if you use it all at once, uh, it you know, I got tons of crystals. Let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about here. And we'll just, maybe we'll even finish off Naramiru while I'm at it. Because again, I'm max level and I don't need to buy energy a lot. So I got crystals to burn. Um... So we're just going to buy 120 refresh. Oh, you do groups of five and it still does that to you? That's rough. So like to show everyone else I'm talking about, I have 16 here, right? If I roll 16 all at once, I got 14, which is actually a really good return. Usually you don't get that. But like if I roll, usually what I'll do is I'll do that and I'll go, oh, I got 15. So I'll do eight and get six. And then seven and get 10. So that's 16. So I got two more by doing it that way. And I'm, I'm, I'll wait. I don't even care, but I'm six away from getting her to seven stars. And I spent, I only had to spend 200 crystals to get, I'm saying, I wouldn't say spend crystals like that, but I, if I break it up like that and I do 50, 50, I usually get pretty good returns. That's that's about average for me, and sometimes sometimes it's less. I've I've had some where I do eight to ten, and I only get six or seven. But those have definitely been the the rarity for me. This luck I have is only applicable to some video games in very very specific circumstances. Um. Yeah, I, this is this a good night? But it's a guild farm too. That's the thing you got to remember is guild farms are way easier than doing the the shadow nodes and stuff like so i have i mean I've, I've got plenty of energy i'll show you uh, if i go to like farm i think i got well i'm gonna double check let's make sure i got my lomian and my f2 shards today uh it's streamer luck right that's true okay so i didn't 
Uh, so like, if I farm five of these, oh, I got a decent amount. Usually I don't get any. Like, usually, I've been sitting at like under a hundred for a week because every day I log in, it's like, oh, hey, guess what? No Lomian shards. Oh, hey, guess what? Two Lomian shards. Uh, and I guess tonight we're just getting lucky. Hey, it's, I like doing this on stream if we get lucky every time I do it. I'll be all right with that. I also feel like sometimes the further, the lower skill ceiling to get them, the less they give you. But I say that, and I was doing the same thing for Naramiri, that I was doing the same thing for Gaz Ironhide and having ridiculous drops for him too back in the day. So he's another one I gotta go back and get to seven. But yeah, the only reason we farmed Haradrim is because, or farming Haradrim is because there's a data mine from four months ago that says the next legendary is gonna be Witch King and that the team to unlock him is gonna be Haradrim. And it's been a long time since anything like that has been in the code, but what I will say is that's supported like in the game campaign story. There's a whole chapter in the Shadow Side about the Haradrim working with and for the Witch King. So like, that makes sense. I, I can't, you know what I'm saying? I can't say that that confirms it, but between the data mine and the bent of the story, it would be a dick move if they changed it because that it makes sense that's the whole it was the whole whole chapter of the shadow campaign was all about that so it would surprise me very much if that wasn't the case um i haven't done this in a long time i haven't even tried it and I definitely haven't tried it since having a six-star Strider. So, uh, <laughs> let's see what happens. Maybe, maybe my beefy Strider will help me clear some of these nodes. Because you don't need to get three stars on them. You just got to clear them. I'll show you, Holy Wolf. I'll work on my seven-star Sam right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's probably not going to happen. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the hobbits need some extra stars. So, uh, he did not make them submit to Sauron. So, like, in the, in the Tolkien lore for the Men of the East, at the very beginning... Uh, like way before like we're talking Silmarillion times the OG evil villain Morgoth uh, when he fled the Valar in their sacred land would always flee to the east so like ever since the dawn of time the east has kind of been under this on again off again relentless oppression by the forces of Morgoth and Sauron but it's it's a bit more than that too in the sense that like they kind of have them propagandized because they know nothing else. So, you know what I'm saying? They kind of have this unfortunate just acceptance that what they, these deities, because they are deities, they are gods. It's like Greek god level gods, but they are gods, uh, you know, basically telling them that this is the way the world is and these people are bad and go kill them and uh, it's in the book, like, uh, in the, in the book, it's Sam that says it, but in the movie, they gave the line to Faramir when they kill the Haradrim guy off the Oliphant and he falls in front of him and Faramir's just like, you know, you can't help but wonder, did this dude really want to be here fighting and getting killed for this guy? Or, you know, would he rather be at home with his family? And you're like, yeah, that's a good point. Like, they're probably not here because they like Sauron and <laughs> they're probably here because he forced them to be, um, and it's just those parts of the story I feel like get overlooked a lot. Like, the Tolkien was in a war or two. Like, he didn't ever want to see that again. So, that's kind of his whole message. Um, but yeah, it's interesting stuff. It's very interesting stuff you start diving into it. But basically, they, they've always been oppressed by either Sauron or Morgoth or these dark forces, and they don't know any different. Uh, if you go for a deep dive, supposedly there was a couple wizards that got sent to the east and never came back, and like, it never gets stated or touched on by Tolkien in in any way. But people are always like, oh, I wonder if 
like it was the like Saruman got the blue wizards because he went to the east for a time and then came back and had these then he came back with these plans of like conquest and shit oh it was <laughs> a battle for middle earth question oops uh, I didn't know that. I haven't played that game in so long. I never owned it. That was one of those games back in the day where a buddy of mine owned it and I'd play it at his house sometimes. It was one of those. That's okay. Anyone on the channel who needed some lore just got a whole lore dump. <laughs> Alright, you know what? So, after the star change, this team actually does feel a lot better in here. They don't really have a lot of gear or abilities leveled up either. I don't think I'm going to get through all three waves, but... Yeah, that's probably not going to happen. That's okay, though. It's, it's good to know that they this actually feels a lot better. Like, once I... I can't wait to be done farming Lomian. Because I would much rather be, like, farming a Hobbit than Lomian. But I just got to get him done. He's so close. It's 250-some-odd shards away. And I know that's not close, but it's... Uh, it's a lot closer than it was back in June, so... <laughs> Maybe I'll play some Battle for Middle Earth. My PC can run that. Maybe I'll do that for a stream one day. We'll dive into some classic Lord of the Rings games. I like retro stuff. It's not retro to me. It's just my childhood. All oh, right, Knights of the Silver Swan. The, ah, uh, what's his name? The Prince of Dol Amroth. Ah, oh, man. It's going to bother me. Ah. Uh. Man, that's going to bother the hell out of me. Uh, yeah, and so, like, where's where's he in this game? Oh, what is... No, we're Googling it. I can't not. We got to know. Prince of Dole. Oh, thank you, Google, for knowing as soon as I put in the DOL. Imrahil. Imrahil. Okay. All right. All right, all right, all right, all right. For those of you who don't know what I'm talking about, hang on. Let me see if... Uh, let me see if OBS will actually find the source for the window today. Yes, okay. Imrahil. Prince Imrahil, 22nd Prince of Dol Amroth, sister city to these places. I don't know. It's uh, nerd nerd time, deep dive, Lord of the Rings stuff tonight. <laughs> uh, man, he was one of the... Uh, main generals in the Battle of the Pelennor Fields in the books that you don't really see him in the movies, but uh, he was there at that big battle with the Witch King and all that fun jazz. So, good times. But yeah, this, I mean, this is like, this is a Gondor unit all day. Maybe, see, like, Denethor should have been a legendary character, and this dude should have been, uh, like, your Gondor fill in for now. That's what, that's what gets me about this game, too. They've invented these minion characters when they have, in canon, Gondor knights that are named uh, that they could use. Like, you know, while I've got this working... Uh, uh, cause, let me see if I can spell it. Bear... Baragon. There he is at the bottom. So, like, this dude. Uh... Uh, no, not this dude. Oh, for Captain of Gondor. Okay, yeah, he was a Captain of Gondor, and he was like, he was the one in the books who shows uh, Pippin around the tower, uh, and he has a son, Bergil. Uh, two sons. I never. We don't think we ever met Borlas in the book, though. But we meet Bergil, and like, so you have these characters. Uh, for the faction that they just don't use. We get Herendil and uh, Sergeant Ara, who I've never even heard of before, and I've, I've read and listened to the books numerous times, <laughs> but they could have just been uh, Baragon and, like, uh, Prince Imrahil. Like, that would have been so cool. Uh, yeah, I, so I don't know. I don't know. I, the, I love their choices, like, for their release characters so far. Uh, you know, I'm not mad about Alrod being the first Legendary at all. In fact, I think that's a really perfect choice. Uh, I'm not mad about farming elves. The Haradrim, 
I really think they need to look at their focus stat, make sure they're landing those debuffs more frequently, especially earlier game stages, because uh, they just don't stand up. <laughs> uh, Talion from Shadow of Mordor. Uh, here, so if you haven't watched the stream yet uh, on YouTube, the this guy I'm always talking about, Tana, he does data mines and stuff. He had a dev Q&A where he was asking about what-if characters, and then somebody should have asked that question. Uh, but they said they're doing ripples in different timelines, and, and here's my thing. Uh, Capital Games and Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes uh, has what-if characters from their video games. Like They have Starkiller, and they have Mara Jade from Legends canon, and they have Dash Rendar, and they have uh, you know all of these loosely affiliated characters. Uh, that aren't technically canon to Star Wars anymore, but are, you know, video game favorites or tie-in favorites. Darth Talon uh, from old comics and stuff. So, like, uh, you know, I don't think Talion is an if. I think Talion is a when. Like, when they need some money and they're like, what's a character that we can pull on that everyone's going to want and we could just make him plug and play so you can put him on, like, any team? Because if you look at, think about it, Talion could be a ranger, uh, I guess not technically. He was a citizen of Mordor. So you can put him on a Mordor team, right? Can you imagine him popping off with, like, Shagrat and Gaz Ironhide and, you know, the Taskmaster dude, Uzan, just giving him multiple turns over and over again to do his, like, mind control orc super combo crap? That'd be awesome. That'd be fantastic. And when you think about it like that, there's no way they're not going to do it. I, I I think that that's character down the line is a shoe in uh it might be three or four years till we see it but uh if the game goes on as long and has the longevity that they've been able to cultivate in star wars galaxy of heroes uh, i don't think that that's a far-fetched ask i think talion will go on a list somewhere right he can have oh man he could be your first neutral unit and you can put him on an elf team or on a mordor team I'm just saying, I, Holy Wolf, I think you're onto something here. I think this needs to be submitted. I think this needs to happen sooner rather than later. Human too, yeah. So you can run him with like for your challenges for the see. This Holy Wolf, this is good stuff, man. I think we're gonna we're gonna put this in. I'm gonna send this to him. Like, hey, hey, can I get a can I get a sweet Q and A interview with you if I give you the best idea you'll have all year from one of my my subscribers because it's it's a fantastic idea. Uh, let me pull this character up, too, for people who might not be familiar with who we're talking about, since we're on the Lord of the Rings wiki. Now, they might not even acknowledge him on here. Ooh. Yeah, all right. So, yeah. Oh, my God. He was captain of the Rangers of Gondor, so he could be a ranger, too. Uh... Yeah, he's non-canonical. Or a Vanyan, but was exiled from his homeland. Uh, he joined the Rangers of Gondor, quickly rising. So he'd be a ranger for sure. So Black Gate, yeah, Mordor. Yeah. Okay. For those of you not reading this, so uh, Talion was born in Rovanion, but was exiled from his homeland for unknown reasons and eventually settled in Gondor. At some point after marrying Lorith uh, fathering, and fathering his son, Daryl, he joins the Rangers of Gondor, quickly rising through the ranks to become a captain. Uh, he killed a nobleman in defense of his wife, and instead of being executed, he was appointed to the Black Gate as punishment by a sympathetic judge. Uh, because Sauron had uh, been gone for over 3,000 years, life at the Black Gate was unusually uneventful or was usually uneventful, and Talion would often pass the time uh, taking care of family and sparring with his son uh, until Sauron and his black captains returned, putting everyone at the gate to the sword until only his, Talion and his family remained. And after all of them being ritualistically murdered by Sauron's black hand and left for dead, Talion learned that he had been bonded with Calibrimbor's Wraith, who offered to help him find the ones responsible for murdering his family. And that's the that's the video games, and this is the, this is the homie right here. And he gets these crazy powers to control orcs, because of being like in tune with the Wraith of Calibrimbor and, and being able to kind of forge and work with the rings and stuff. It is really wild. Uh, it was a crazy storyline, but it would be a really cool character for uh, for <laughs> Lord of the Rings Home. I think that would be a lot of fun. So uh, 
That being said, we're hopefully... If I get off my lazy ass and make some YouTube content, this is a video I've been wanting to make for YouTube for a long time. It's like, what are cool what-if characters we could see in uh, Lord of the Rings Heroes of Middle-Earth? Yeah, he was so... Uh, yep. Elf to the Calibrim, Boar, Human, uh, Ranger... one of the nine rings and give him the Nazgul title on top of it. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't... I don't want to spoil anything for people who might like have just heard of these games, but yeah, you get to do some crazy stuff with some Nazgul. Let's just say it's a what-if universe, and because it's a what-if universe, uh, it could fit perfectly into this game. So uh, I'm going to leave this tab open so I remember to talk about this. I think this is going to be something I make on uh, Monday. I've got a couple ideas. I've got a rant video I want to put up about Marvel Strike Force. I've got to post a bunch of my old content that I've re-downloaded. i got to post it and save it. So uh, I'm going to be busy editing on Monday. But that being said, friends, uh, it's getting pretty late where I'm at. I've got some stuff i got to do around the apartment still before I go to bed. And i got to work all day tomorrow. I literally open and close tomorrow. Sundays are a long day for me. So it's a fun day. Uh, our axe throwing league starts back up. Yeah, I throw axes, like physical axes. Uh, it's my job. It's pretty awesome. It doesn't pay great, but <laughs> it's fun. Uh, so we've got our league starting back up tomorrow, so it's usually a long day. So I'll catch everybody next time. Things to look forward to. If you haven't done so already, we have a Facebook page now that I still have to link to the Twitch page, but it's uh, Row of Gilly Gaming. Follow us. I've been posting, like, polls and cool screenshots and stuff and it's just grown it's a place a landing platform for the community we also have a discord if you're not a part of it go ahead and join up let me know if the link needs refreshed uh i try to update it every couple weeks um but come be part of the community talk i try to be as interactive as i can be uh, i'm happy to answer questions about lord of the rings home marvel strike force star wars galaxy of heroes pokemon masters ex dc heroes and villains uh, what other games have I played? Dislight. I mean, I've, I've had all kinds of stuff I've played over over a, a long period of time. And, uh, yeah, so I'm always happy to chat games. So, that being said, uh, also follow the YouTube channel. Uh, we're going to start getting back in the habit of posting at least a weekly video on there. Um, and then I'm going to start posting, like, all of these old live streams just so you can go back and watch them if you want to just some content some fun stuff you can have a good time like stumbling upon the weird crazy raid rng midway through this video was fantastic so uh with that friends thank you all for coming to my channel i'm always happy to have you and i will see you guys next time thanks again and have a great weekend